What's up, everybody? And welcome to Watch With Jay. Finally, I know you guys have been asking me to watch this movie for a very long time, and I'm finally here. We're gonna be watching Chandler's List, um, and you guys also asked for Nathaniel, aka my bear. So um, here he is. So he's here with us again. Okay. So yeah. So um, I don't know. Like I said, I'm sorry it took me a while. I've just been trying to figure things out. But who knows? But it is you know neither here nor there. We are finally doing this. Just to also let you guys know ahead of time, if you guys do want to end up seeing the full unedited um, watch along, then it will be on my Patreon listed down below, okay? So yeah, um, I'm going to go ahead and I guess jump into it. I don't really want to hold you guys too much. If you do guys, if you do, <laughs> oh my God, blah, 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 blah. if you guys do end up liking this reaction, then make sure you hit the subscribe button and the bell notification so you can keep watching for more. Okay, let's go ahead and get this started. What's, what's happening? Oh, I don't know. Okay, so we got the movie title. Okay, so we got the movie title. I'm guessing they're registering everybody. Mm. <laughs> I like the music. Bring them over a round of drinks. Who shall I say they are from? You can say they are from me. From the gentleman. Where? Find out who he is. Yes, sir. How are you doing? You'd leave a woman alone at the table in a place like this? An extra chair, please. Vodka for my friend. For the lady? No, no. <laughs> Come to us! Marry us! Oh, boy. That's Oscar Schindler. <laughs> ah, Oscar Schindler. They come into our house and tell us we don't live there anymore. It now belongs to a certain SS officer. Aren't you supposed to be able to help? I'm looking for Itzhak Stern. By law, I have to tell you, sir, I'm a Jew. Well, I'm a German, so there we are. Once the war ends, forget it, but for now it's great. You can make a fortune, don't you think? I think most people right now have other priorities. I'm sure you'll do just fine once you get the contracts. In fact, the worse things get, the better you'll do. You don't have any money. Not that kind of money. You know anybody? You must have contacts in the Jewish business community working here. What community? Jews can no longer own businesses. That's why this one's in receivership. Oh, wow. I pay them back in product. Pots and pans. Pots and pans? Something they can use. Pots and pans? They can trade it on the black market, do whatever they want. Everybody's happy. What? They put up all the money. I do all the work. What if you don't mind my asking what you do? Right. I'd make sure it's known the company's in business. I'd see that it had a certain panache. The presentation. So they have to wear it just to identify yourself? It's shoe polish. In metal containers? No, this containers. is glass, it's not what I asked for. What's the difference? What's the difference? What's the difference? No, oh, wow. My client sold it to his client who sold it to the German army because of the freezing cold, it broke. All 10,000 units. This is not my problem. This is not his problem. This is not your problem. This is not my problem. The German army wants to find out where it came from. Now it's your problem. You be quiet. Oh. Pardon me for interfering, but that's a nice shirt. Do you know where I can find a nice shirt like that? We're here to pray. 
Do you have any idea how much a shirt like this costs? Nice things cost money. How many? I'm going to need some other things too as things come up. kilos of enamel wear a month to begin in July and to continue for one year, after which time we're even. It's not good enough. Look where you're living. Look where you've been put. Money still money. Trade goods. That's the only currency that'll be worth anything in the ghetto. Things have changed, my friend. Oh my goodness. How do we know that you will do what you say? You want a contract? To be upheld by what court? I said what I'll do. That's our contract. I don't like this because he can jerk him off. This is a this is not an okay trade to me. You give money for pots and pans and goods. So they have to settle for that. Dip it in soapy emulsion, place it centrally in the press. Oh boy. This lady can talk, you're not even paying her no attention. It is my distinct pleasure to announce Deutsche in my fabric. Superior enamelware crockery, expressly designed and crafted for military use. And looking forward to a long and mutually prosperous association and very best regards, Oskar Schindler. My father was fond of saying you need three things in life. Good doctor, a forgiving priest, and a clever accountant. The first two, <laughs> I've never had much use for. But the third... Is that all? I'm trying to thank you. I'm saying I couldn't have done this without you. The usual thing would be to acknowledge my gratitude. It would also, by the way, be the courteous thing. You're welcome. Get out of here. Ugh. I just, I'm not... Not be quiet. I've got 350. 350 workers on the factory floor with one purpose. To make money. For me, I won't soon forget the name Schindler here. I can tell you that. Oscar Schindler, they'll say. Everybody remembers him. He did something extraordinary. He came here with nothing, a suitcase, and left with a steamer trunk. Two steamer trunks full of money. It's comforting to see that nothing's changed. You're wrong, Emily. That's comforting. There's no way I could have known this before, but... There was always something missing. You can't create this thing, and it makes all the difference in the world between success and failure. Luck. War. Promise me, Oscar, no dual man or maitre d will ever presume I'm anyone other than Mrs. Schindler, and I'll stay. Dang. I want to thank you, sir for giving me the opportunity to work. You're welcome. I'm sure you're doing a great job. I work hard for you. I'm sure you do. I'll continue to work hard. I think he wants him to leave. You're a good man. Aww. God bless him. Okay. Uh, yeah, I think he's... God bless you. I just, I can see in his face he didn't even want to talk to him. By the way, don't ever do that to me again. Did you happen to notice that that man had one arm? Did he? 
What's his use? Very useful. How? Very useful. Success. He probably should have kept that one uh, for himself. Come with me. I am an essential worker. Essential worker? <laughs> yes. I work for Oskar Schindler. Essential worker for Oskar uh, Schindler. Yes. Jew. Yes. yes. <laughs> Twice as useless. I lost a worker. File a grievance with the economic office. It's your right. Would it do any good? Oh my god, that poor man. A big shot from the SS budget and construction office came to lunch and he told us that... Oh no. The Jewish skilled worker had a place in Reich economics. It was a treasonable idea. That is just so terrible. That poor man, he was so happy. I woke up from a dream this morning. I was broke and sharing a room with 12 people and only to discover I was broke and sharing a room with 12 people I didn't know. <laughs> you are living behind walls. The walls I can deal with. There is now a dump from here. This is it. This is the bottom. The entire foundation has to be torn down and repoured. There will be at least a subsidence at the southern end of the barracks. You are an engineer. Yes. I'm educated too, like Karl Marx himself. Shoot her. Yes. Sir, she's foreman of construction. We're not going to have arguments with these people. Vent. Oh my god, are you serious? Shoot her, here, on my authority. No, no, no. It will take more than that. I'm sure you're right. Rebuild it, like she said. We have more to see, but... Ooh. Life. Oh, this is so cruel. Oh, God, this is so cruel. Oh, my God, oh, my God. Oh, boy.
I've been given orders to clear the bundles from the road. Thomas, enjoying the lines, little Polish clicking soldier. <laughs> oh, that was so smart. My God. symbolism to that code it has to be oh, oh please let's go let's go please i don't want to keep saying that my heart my god oh gosh Oh my god. No, 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 no. Crap. Oh. Oh. oh my god, no. I wish this fucking night were over. Everybody's gone. No, they're not gone. They're here. They're mine! Every worker that is shot costs me money. I have to find somebody else. I have to train them. None of this is going to matter. It's bad business. My goodness. You don't want anybody telling you what to do. I can understand all that, you know? I, I know you. What you want is your own sub-camp. You could make things easier for me. I'd be grateful. Make sure I see my cut from the uh, factory owners in this camp. The Schindler account. He wants his independence. I gave it to him. But independence costs money. Look at me. Don't forget who you are working for now. The calendar on my desk has the birthdays of our SS friends' wives and children. The code payoffs to the main administration and economics office, the armaments slowly, board, stand, slowly. and chief of police as fees. And make them on the first of each month, as opposed to individual payoffs to... It's the fact he got a number on him. SS contacts list lower drawer of my desk, which you handle as cash contributions to legitimate charities sent, of course, through each official's office. Oh, forget more it. More complicated. What do you mean? Forget it. You it can't forget it. You can't it gives forget me a headache. It. I couldn't get you out of here. Be all right. Please in your pocket. Come on. Herr Director, don't let things fall apart. I work too hard. What are you making? Hinges, sir. Make me a hinge. Yes, sir. Sure. Oh, that's very good. You've been working since, I think, what, about? Six this morning. Yet such a small pile of hinges. Oh no, 
no, I can't watch, no. Oh. Maybe it's a pin. Maybe it's a pin yeah, shot. Come on. What did I just say? Yeah. Uh, all those people running by. That my heap of hinges was so unsatisfactory because the machines were being recalibrated this morning. I f was put on to shoveling coal. Just let him go. I was making hinges slowly. So the man can turn out the hinge in less than a minute. Why the long story? Thank you, sir. You're welcome. Yes. He wants you. Oh, she had to dress up to get seen. Please, sit down. Oh, wow. That worked. They say that no one dies here. They say your factory is a haven. They say you are good. Who says that? Everyone. My parents are in Puashov. They are older people. They are killing older people now in Puashov. Please bring them here. I don't do that. You've been misled. Force papers you will not interrupt me, Miss Trotter. Cry and I will have you arrested. I swear to God. Send them over to Schindler. Send them all. His place is a haven, didn't you know? You think I don't know what you're doing? I know, I know. Are you losing money? No, I'm not losing money. That's not the point. That's not the point. Is it's dangerous. He's a wonderful crook. A man who loves good food, good wine. Yeah, I mean, he wasn't like, he wasn't crazy. Like, I, I figured he'll figure out what he was doing about just trying to get people safe and stop him from killing people. God lined up everybody from the missing man's barracks. He walked down the line shooting every other man with a pistol. What do you want me to do about it? Nothing, nothing. We're just talking. Perlman, husband and wife. Yaakov and Hannah Perlman! Have Goldberg bring them over. different mindset kind of from the rest of them he seems like one of the nicer ones and has some kind of compassion my first day here he beat me because i threw out the bones from dinner he asked me where they were for his dogs i said to him why are you beating me he said the reason i beat you now is because you ask why i beat you i know your sufferings Ella. i have accepted them one day he will shoot me. No, 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 no. He won't shoot you. And there on the steps, he drew his gun and he shot a woman who was passing by. Just a woman on her way somewhere, slower or faster than anyone else, and I couldn't guess what had she done. You can say to yourself, if I follow these rules, I will be safe. He won't shoot you because he enjoys you too much. He doesn't want anyone else to know it's a Jew he's enjoying. He shot the woman from the steps because she meant nothing to him. Thank you. A wonderful party. Thank you. Oh. I didn't even realize that was her, the one he was sleeping with, and a dude who was just shooting. That was the dude who was just shooting for fun. Power is when we have every justification to kill, and we don't. That's what the Emperor said. A man's told something, he's brought him before the Emperor. He begs for mercy, and the Emperor pardons him. This worthless man, he lets him go. That's power, Amon. I pardon you. <laughs> ah! I'm sorry, sir. Do you know how much this saddle is worth? All right. Oh, 
Throw a smokey on the job. I'll tell her not to do it again. Stop! 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 You look surprised. Good. I have to report, sir. I've been unable to remove the stains from your bathtub. Well, I are using Lishak. Soap, Commandant. Soap? Not lie. Go ahead, go and leave. Leave, I pardon you. This is where you come to hide from me. You really are a wonderful cook and a well-trained servant. If you need a reference after the war, I'd be, be happy to give you one. I would like so much to reach out and touch you in your loneliness. What would be wrong with that? Maybe what's, what's wrong isn't it's not us. It's, it's, you know, it's this. No, no you, you make a good point. <laughs> make a very good point. Are these the eyes of the rat? Hath not a Jew eyes. I'm scared for her. I hope he do not kill her or nothing. No, I don't think so. You're a Jewish bitch. She can work. Separate the sick from the healthy. Those who can work and those who can't. She can work. That is so degrading. To have to be stripped down and running around and checked. That is just so horrible. Happy to be picked to be alive. Oh my God. That's the kids. I didn't see him. They're hiding. I'm telling you, they're hiding. Didn't you call me? No, I tried to call you. On. This is just terrible. Do you say we get your fire hoses out here and hose down the cars? Thank you. Well, bring the fire hoses. Where's the fire? <laughs> <laughs> Come on. Come on. Come on. 
Stop her from getting. It's like he changed. Like he, his whole mannerism is different now. <laughs> you can tell he don't like that. You just look at them like scum on earth. I violated the Raisin Resettlement Act. I kissed a Jewish girl. <laughs> Did your brake fall off? <laughs> <laughs> He sees a beautiful woman he doesn't think. I saw this girl, and this girl was, whoa, <laughs> she was very good looking. They cast a spell on you, you know, the Jews. They have this power, it's like a virus. They should receive treatment because this is as real as typhus. I see this all the time. It's a matter of money. Oh, he's actually trying to back him up. But that's because he's sleeping with a Jew. He slept with one. We give your Jewish girls at five marks a day, Oscar. You should kiss us, not them. There's no future in it. They don't have a future. That's not just good old fashioned you hating talk. My gosh, how horrible. Oh my god. Is that is that their ashes on his car? Oh my god. Oh, I can only imagine the smell and everything. That does is not fun. Oh my god. Oh, uh, they're like mummies. Oh! You guys get to cover your nose, but they don't. Babies. I've been talking to Gert. I know the destination. These are the evacuation orders. I made Gert promise me he'll put in a good word for you. Nothing bad is going to happen to you there. You'll receive special treatment. You're staying, I take it. It's like he thought he's like he does care. In the beginning he seemed like he cared at all. Now it's like he seemed like he cares about them. I'm going home. I've done what I came here for. I've got more money than any man can spend in a lifetime. Some day, this is all going to end, you know. I was going to say we'll have a drink then. I think I better have it now. Oh, God. You want these people? These people, my people, I want my people. Who are you, Moses? You've got to move them. The equipment, everything to Czechoslovakia. Pay for all that and build another camp. Do you know what I'm going to make? Well, artillery shells. Well, everyone's making artillery tank shells. shells. Yeah, tank shells, they need that. Yeah. Everybody's happy. Everyone's happy, except me. I'll go along with it. It's just irritating, I can't work it out. He's really trying to keep him alive. What's a person worth? No, you? no, no, no. What's one worth to you? Lutek. You don't even seem like he care about all the money no more. Nathan is right. And Wolf. You don't even seem like he care about the money like he did at first. Now he's just trying to save him. You can do the same thing I'm doing. You might even make money at it. If we make a combined approach, we could get more than 4,000 out. Mine and yours. Oscar. We could relocate them in something like safety in Moravia. I've done all I can. I will not accept that. No, Oscar, I can't do it anymore. I will not accept that. I didn't. You can finish that page. You're not buying them. You're buying them. You're buying it for each of these names. If you were still working for me, I'd expect you to talk me out of it. Finish the page and leave one space at the bottom. Did he ever put his name on it? Clerical error here. There's one more name I want to put there. I'll never find a maid as well trained as her at Brindit. No. One hand of 21. If you win, I'll pay you 7,400 right marks. No. Nope. It's a natural, I'll make it 14,800. No, I want her to um, come back to Vienna with me. I want her to come, to come and work for me there. You can't take her to Vienna with you. No, of course I can't. That's what I'd like to do. 
what I can do if I'm any sort of a man. Is should take her into the woods and shoot her painlessly in the back of the head. A natural 21 was 14,800. Maria Michel. Chaim Novak. It's Hakstern. Rebecca and Joseph Bau. Horowitz, Dolek. Adam Levy. Okay. Now I see what's going on. Like now it's the beginning is coming together. Okay. Sometime. You'll be pleased with the level of efficiency I get from these workers. The prisoners, however, Excuse me. they would have rather been somewhere else. I know you've had a long journey, but it's only a short walk further to the factory where hot soup and bread is waiting for you. I don't like. I like caviar. Yeah. 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 Sure. I thought he took them. 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 I thought he Like, what the heck? That's what I said. I thought he was going to the factory. Oh my god. Why would they do that? Didn't he pay for them? Like, why would. It's, it was a paperwork error. And I remember they talked about this happening too. And they cut the hair and made them put, put their stuff and tie the shoe. <sighs> has been made. We are not supposed to be here. We work for Oskar Schindler. Who is Oskar Schindler? He had a factory in Krakow. An ammo He paid for them. The train came in and the officer in charge of the selection went immediately to work and sent 2,000 of them straight away to special treatment. It is not my task to interfere with the processes that take place down here. Why do you think I can help you? If I can't help, he gave up. Allow me to express the reason. I'm not making any judgment about you. In the coming months, we're all going to need portable wealth. I could have you arrested. And protected by powerful friends. All I say is I'm not comfortable with them on the table. The train comes, we turn it around. Mm, yes, yes. It's yours. I understand. You shouldn't get stuck on names. Essential girls. <laughs> Their fingers polish the insides of shell metal casings. Back on the train! Back on the train! Oh, thank goodness. He cared enough to go get him. Under Department W, it is unlawful to kill a worker without just cause. If you shoot without thinking, you go to prison. I get paid. There will be no summary executions here. 
There will be no interference of any kind with production. Guards will no longer be allowed on the factory floor without my authorization. No doorman or maitre d' will ever mistake you again. I promise. This is it, Zach Stern, my accountant. So you want to make things right? What are... This is my wife's step. I don't keep any secrets from my spouse. Oscar, please, attend to business. It's much more attractive. The artillery shells, tank shells, rocket casings. Apparently, all of them have failed quality control tests. That's to be expected. Oh. Startup problems. We'll get it right one of these days. There's a rumor you've been going around miscalibrating the machines. They could shut us down, send us back to Auschwitz. I'll call around, find out where we can buy shells. Pass them off as ours. I don't see the difference. If this factory ever produces a shell that can actually be fired, I'll be very unhappy. He did a whole 360 from the beginning. What day is this? Friday? It is Friday, isn't it? Is it? What's the matter with you? You should be preparing for the Sabbath. I've got some wine. In my office. Come. The Shabbos Koi Choi Be'avo Ve'roi Son In Chilonu Baruch Atad Oi Shem Get Shabbos. Did all that just to keep them there. Do you have any money hidden away someplace that I don't know about? No. Why? Am I broke? Well, yesterday morning signed the act of unconditional surrender of all German land, sea, and air forces to the Soviet High Command. The German war is therefore at an end. The unconditional surrender of Germany has just been announced. The war is over. Tomorrow, you'll begin the process of looking for survivors of your families. After six long years of murder, victims are being mourned throughout the world. Many of you have come up to me and thanked me. Thank your fearless Stern. Daddy did a whole 360. I'm a member of the Nazi party. I am a criminal. At midnight, you'll be free and I'll be hunted. I shall remain with you until five minutes after midnight, after which time, and I hope you'll forgive me, I have to flee. I know you have received orders from our commandant to dispose of the population of this camp. This is your opportunity. Or you could leave they don't want to do it. and return to your families as men instead of murderers. In memory of the countless victims among your people, I ask us to observe Three minutes of silence. Thank you, Mr. Dierk. Thank you, Mr. Dierk. Open wide. Thank you, Mr. Dierk. I want that cloth distributed to the workers. Two and a half meters each. It'll be done, everything you ask. We've written a letter trying to explain things. In case you were captured, every worker has signed it. <laughs> he made a difference in their life. That's so, that's so beautiful. Every single worker, gosh. made a difference in their life, man. Oh, that's why they took it to McMoring. <laughs> that's so beautiful. Bye. It's Hebrew from the Talmud. It says whoever saves one life saves the world entire. <laughs> that's so beautiful. I don't know why they was making that ring. I could have got more up. I could have got more. Aska, there are 1,100 people who are alive because of you. Look at them. I threw away so much money. <laughs> you, you still sitting a lot of people, man. Like you gotta, you can't discredit that. I didn't do enough. You did so much. No, you did all you could. It's crazy. Because he didn't even want to like him, and then he just, he couldn't help it. This is gold. Two more people. He would have given me one. One more. You did 
did a lot, you got a lot of people. You saved a lot of people. One more person. And I didn't. Oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> oh god <laughs> Oh boy They're all so thankful for what he did it's just sad that he's seen it like he didn't save enough when he saved so many. You have been liberated by the Soviet army. Have you been in Poland? I just came from Poland. Are there any Jews left? Where should we go? Don't go east, that's for sure. They hate you there. I wouldn't go west either if I were you. We could use some food. Isn't that a town over there? This is so God. They're free. Oh no. Oh no. Oh no. Oh no. Oh no. Breaks your heart. Oh, my God. Yes. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Oh, oh, boy. God, I'm, brought, I'm glad I brought the teddy bear. Oh God, I need, I definitely need to hug a dang teddy bear now. I definitely need to hug it. <sighs> that was very, very heart wrenching. And then I feel like the, the, the girl with the red jacket just stood like a symbolist. <sighs> this is, this was extremely heavy. Um, It was just so much, like, the guy, in the beginning, like I said, I don't think he, because he said, I can't do that, I can't do that, like, you could tell he really wanted to help him, and that, like, it was just so much, like, God, just to get, just, like, they have to put, use their own blood as makeup so they can look, so they wouldn't get slaughtered, so they wouldn't be, they would be one of the people get picked to not get slaughtered, and the, the guy just going out there just shooting people for no reason. And he was beating on Helen. And it's like Oscar in the beginning didn't... In the beginning, I don't think Oscar felt... I think he, he, he knew he wasn't supposed to feel anything that he felt. And 
he ended up, you know, and in the end, it just, that's why I said he did a whole 360, like, it's like his whole mindset and everything changed towards them, like, oh, God, I'm sorry. I almost stopped the movie so many times. It was just so harsh and cruel to see how they were treated, like, it's like, it, I, like, a part of me, like, I felt like I was shaking at some parts. It's just so inhumane and degrading. And especially the part where the women were in there and the water just came down. And it's like they were trying to grab the water. But at the same time, they felt just less of a human. And that they weren't good enough or old enough, whatever. Or they're too old and they just, oh, well, dispose of them. Like, they just kill them off. They don't care. It, they kill So the treatment I've seen today was so inhumane and it was just, it was horrible. I felt like the little girl that was running around with the coat, um, with the red coat, I, I, I felt like it was like, cause it was around the time where they was running and it's like blood, like the little girl, like it's, it's like the... <clears throat> Like the blood of people who was murdered, like, um, I felt like it was more of like a, how do I say it? Like it, like, cause she looked so like sweet, like she wouldn't hurt a fly. And, um, it felt more like it was like trying to tell us like, like basically to like symbolize that these, these innocent people are getting murdered for no reason. Like they didn't. You know, like they, they're just, they're getting murdered and that's why he stared at her. And I think because he realized like this, this innocent girl is, has a chance of getting murdered. Like, it's like, that's what I feel like represents the, the murders of people, the unwrongful murders. I mean, that red coat, like she looked like a girl who wouldn't hurt a fly. And maybe that's why they picked her, if that's why they chose her, because she has like an innocent, sweet look. That's a really um, um, genius choice because, of, you know, she's a child. She, she looks like she wouldn't hurt a fly. She's innocent. And, yes, she's one of the people who could have been murdered. And it's, like, basically saying, like, all these innocent people got murdered and died and getting killed. It's, it's horrible. Uh, this was by the, this was like during the Holocaust. Oh my God. And it's like, they could have all been sent to these camps. Like, you know, like these, these places, these, the, like, you know, being on the train getting shipped out. Look where they went by accident to that camp with the water coming on them. Like, and they cut their hair off and just treated them like, just like, not like humans. And it's like, it don't even make no sense. Like, they could have all been murdered and they would have got sent off. Those people who's getting sent off would have been slaughtered. And he literally paid and he paid for them to like, you know, come with him and saved all of those lives. Like saved all of their lives. It's sad that his relationship I'm sure probably the relationship with the wife, I don't know if it had to do with cheating, whatever, it just didn't work, but um it's sad that that didn't work and it's sad that his business has continued to fail. It's just the fact that like like I said in the beginning, he looked at he looked at them like they weren't worth nothing. The way he treated them in the beginning to the way he just start to care. He was talking about just giving them pots and pan pots or something, or giving them stuff they can use. They're not that's all they get. You know, like that's all like it's the guy, like the way he was speaking down on them to the whole three sixty, it was just wow. He ended up he realized he was caring and I think he didn't want to care because he knew he wasn't supposed to. Because he was, you know, a German, like you say, he's a Nazi. And they, you know, they obviously look how they looked at them. But he he ended up having compassion when he realized they're just people, you know. He looked at them as people, not like, you know, not like a whole different type of, like an animal or anything. So it he could have chose, he was making so much money by doing that. 
he could have chose to keep the money and just keep making the money off of them. And basically when they died, just lived happily. He basically went broke. Try saving all those lives. It's just wow. Oscar Schindler. In the beginning, I didn't know how I was gonna feel about him. I didn't like how he was talking. But I was like, I don't know, for me, I, I don't really write people off completely when they come off as a jerk, because I never know what's going to happen later. God, this was a hard movie to watch and stomach, and oh my God. This is stuff that those people went through. It's, I couldn't even imagine. <clears throat> I mean, I couldn't, I ain't even going to say that, because I don't need this to turn into a bad part of the conversation, but... They treated them like they wasn't even humans. This was probably one of the hardest movies I ever like had to watch in my life. It was absolutely hard. It was absolutely heartbreaking. And it, it definitely hurt my soul. Like seeing those people get shot and killed. And it's like no matter what they did, it wasn't enough. I just, I don't want to make myself cry. I feel my eyes like tearing up. I'm glad I did watch it. I'm going to be honest. I don't know if I can watch it again. <laughs> or if I do, it probably had to be like, maybe like a year from now. Because um, I feel like everybody should at least watch it once. Um, But I think, I, yeah, it, I think I can watch it again. No second thought, but it just got to be maybe a year from now or it just it can't be like tomorrow next week or next month like that movie is very very hard to stomach it's just it's just so cruel in so many ways and i'm sorry i know i keep saying that it's just that's just some of the most cruel things i've ever seen done to people and it's just it's disgusting that dude who got hung for um inhumane criminal um, criminal activity it was inhumane he just went out there and just shot people just to shoot them and he did it like it was a sport. Like, <sighs> anyways, I it it was it was a really 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 um, great movie. It shows you a lot about like what the Jews and you know what they went through and how it was, and it just gives you such insight on how bad things were. And obviously, this is stuff before my time, so. It just shows you a whole, a whole nother level of like slavery. <clears throat> like they were basically slaves, dang near. Um, it just shows you like another level of slavery and and um, and inhumane treatment and you know abuse verbally and physically. <clears throat> and even the. Uh, even like making a girl sleep with him and stuff that that couldn't but anyways um <clears throat> that was, I think it was I think it was put together wonderfully and uh it definitely touched my heart and it, you know oh like I said I felt like I was shaking I don't know I felt like I was shaking I, I don't know if I was actually like I don't know I just felt myself like I felt my body shaking at some parts because I just could not believe like it's just disgusting I would never ever treat another human like that because we're all humans. It's, I'm sorry, I keep talking like for people whose family been through that or people who still who been through that and like I am so sorry. No, I'm so sorry if you know somebody. Sorry. Oh God, that's supposed to be my alarm to go to bed. Uh, maybe I need to go ahead and go to bed or something. I'm probably gonna have to watch a happy cartoon after this. But thank you guys so much for, um, <clears throat> thank you guys so much for watching this video. Make sure you guys, um, like, comment, and subscribe if you, uh, enjoyed this reaction. And if you, uh, God, Jesus, I can't, uh, oh, the guy with the one arm who got shot, that really broke my heart. That was horrible. Oh, God, that was so bad. Anyway, I'm sorry. It's my mind's everywhere. I feel like it's scrambled. So let me, let me try this again. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. Um, make sure you like, comment, subscribe. 
push the bell notification this way you guys be updated with another, with another video if you guys um If you guys, like I said, if you push the um, bell notification, you'll be updated another video. If you guys want to watch the full, watch along to this, um, the full watch along, um, no unedited parts. It'll be on Patreon. Spielberg did it again. It'll be on Patreon and... I hope you guys, if you guys want to talk about social media, be listed down below. And, um, I hope you guys, um, I don't even know what I'm saying no more. Um, what was I just saying? Yeah, yeah, um. The social media, if you guys want to talk about social media, it'll be listed down below. And, um, yeah. I'm going to see you guys next time. Bye.